Paul Johnson was one of the most prolific and provocative writers and journalists of his time. He died on Friday at the age of 94. As a popular historian, he wrote more than 50 books, and in his later years, he was particularly widely honoured abroad, perhaps more than he was even at home in the UK. He was appointed a CBE in 2016, that's a British honour, and also awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by US President George W. Bush in 2006. Many will remember him for his dramatic conversion from the political left to the right in the mid-1970s, and as a polemicist and popular historian who had a massive impact on public thought and on British and foreign leaders. It was Johnson's disgust in the 1970s with the overpowerful trade unions and the left's inability to come up with what he saw as decent solutions for Britain as it struggled through the decade that, that influenced that change of heart. He's been described as Margaret Thatcher's most vocal press champion, He defended her against criticism, even from her own colleagues, and he contributed to her speeches and even taught her elocution, noting that she had a tendency to lecture rather than to speak. However, he wasn't supportive of her successor, the Conservative Party leader and Prime Minister John Major. In fact, he became a powerful supporter of the young Tony Blair, who, of course, went on to win the general election in 1997 for the Labour Party. The two became close, with Johnson contributing to Blair's speech as he'd done for Margaret Thatcher. It's no surprise that Benjamin Netanyahu praised Paul Johnson so highly. Speaking after his death that happened on Friday, he called Johnson his good friend and a great friend of the State of Israel, and he noted uh, that he wrote one of his most important books about the Jewish people and its state. Uh, A Catholic himself, uh, Paul Johnson was indeed a loyal supporter of Israel and the Jewish people. That book was A History of the Jews, and it was published in 1987 and was an international bestseller. Uh, He was a great admirer of Netanyahu himself, and and when he became the leader of the Likud party in the 90s, he praised his courage, his will to reform Israel's paralytic constitutional structure, as he called it, and his communication skills. So the admiration was obviously two-way. Uh, as I mentioned, he was, he was very popular abroad, and not just in Israel. The Times obituary here put it well, saying that there was a slight paradox about Johnson as a public figure, in that during his latter years, at least, he tended to be a prophet, honoured far more abroad, and particularly in North America, than in his own country.